What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using one of my favorite pseudo legendaries, Dragapult, but this time pairing up with Symbiosis Florges. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. It really goes a long way. Like I've been mentioning, Pushing 20,000 subs. Cannot wait to hit that milestone. Huge shout out to all of my subscribers. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Berm. Pokey Berm, thank you so much for making this team and making a rental code for everybody to use. We'll be linking the link to his channel down in the description below. So definitely go check him out and show him some jeans love. But Dragapult sitting here in that top left hand corner for our team preview. It's got Clear Body and the Power Herb as item. It's got Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, Protect, and U Turn. So pretty much what the combo persists of is Dragapult going into Phantom force making them use the power herb making them use phantom force in one turn and then once we use phantom force we will not have an item and if we pair it up next to forges forges will then use symbiosis as his ability and pass over the life orb to dragapult so pretty cool combo right there we get all phantom force in one turn and we also pass over the life orb to dragapult who is a way better attacker so it works out perfectly Rotom Heat's going to be our second Pokemon. Rotom Heat's pretty solid all around with Levitate and the White Herb as item. It's got Thunderbolt, Overheat, Protect, and Volt Switch. I'm loving this moveset. Third Pokemon, Iron Bundle. Iron B, Iron Deli Bird, whatever you want to call it, this Pokemon is amazing in Series 2. It has Quirk Drive and the Booster Energy as its item and ability. Hydro Pump, Blizzard, Protect, and Freeze Dry. Love this moveset, especially when it's paired up with the Bomb of Snow. We can pop the Snow Warning and have Blizzard hit 100% of the time. Corviknight is going to be our fourth Pokemon, and I absolutely love using Corviknight on the rank ladder. It's not as meta as people use it as, but it's still very strong at the same time. And at least for me, I struggle playing up against Corviknights. It's just great typing all around and a solid Pokemon. It's got Mirror Armor as its ability, the Citrus Berry as item, Brave Bird and Iron Head both for stab moves, and it has Taunt and Tailwind for two support moves. Florges is going to be our fifth Pokemon. Like I already mentioned, the Dragapult and Florges combo, but Florges is pretty solid on its own. It's got Symbiosis and a Life Orb as item, Moon Blast, Palm Puff, Protect, and Chilling Water for an amazing moveset. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Obama. So, like I already mentioned, it is a great Pokemon to pair up with Iron Bundle, but it's also pretty solid on its, on, as its own Pokemon because it can control weather with its ability and it can also set up the Roar Belt with a Light Clay as its item. The other three moves are Blizzard, Giga Drain, both for stab, and then last but not least, Gotta Rock Protect on my boy Obama Snow. Guys, if, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Dragapult and Florges team. First match coming at you guys, and I just realized it is a brand new season. So your boy is sitting at 0-0, 0-0. Oh oh, zero zero. Let's try to grab ourselves our first win for the new season and try to push Master Tier as quickly as possible. But we're going up against a Hippowdon team. With Corviknight, Kilowatch, so Double Bird, Iron Valiant, Glamora, and Iron Moth. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I kind of like the Polt combo, right? Get, get this rock in turn one, Polt Forges, just to showcase for you guys. I'm really digging it, so I am going to bring in both of those. Um, I could also bring in Obama Snow because it does rip up onto a few of these Pokemon, plus it can grant us weather control if need be. So I'm all about going into Obama Snow, and then gotta bring Deli Bird with it, right? Deli Deli Bird, I'm with it. I'm with it. So we're going to be doing the Polk combo right off the rip and having the snow combo in the back end. I'm loving it. Let's get after it. Let's try to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I think they are going to lead like maybe Valiant here, right? Valiant could be a solid lead. And as long as it's not booster energy, my Polk should be able to outspeed at 213, which is a ridiculous speed stat. But Iron Valiant could definitely be an option. It's a scary Pokemon, but I do have a nice, lovely little fairy move to deal some damage to it. But he's going to go Corvo and Hippowdon. All right, so Corvo and Hippowdon come out here. Could be setting up Trick Room, could be doing multiple different things, but I feel like from here, um, I'm not too worried about the, uh, a little bit, I'm kind of worried about Sandstream. Maybe I'll swap it next turn, but uh, from here, I feel like I just go into a Phantom Force. Both these guys are just defense bulked. I might just U-turn out. I might just keep the Life Orb on my, on my girl, right? On my Florges? I feel like I have to. Wait, I have to. I wish I could. I uh, had uh, what's going on. I wish I had what's it called on this thing. Terror Blast. That'd be huge. But I'm just gonna go into U turn. I'm gonna change the weather up because they get a huge defensive bulk from that. And I'm not trying to deal with that. I'm not trying to deal with that. So Obama is gonna come and clutch here turn one. We're just gonna U turn out. And we're not gonna be using the, the floor just combo. Maybe we'll showcase in battle number two. Maybe battle number three. But right now, just not the time. 
Right now, we got to swap as quickly as possible. Chilling Water's gonna fly here, do some nice damage, but more importantly, get an attack drop on a physical attacker. So I really like that. I really do like that. Light screen. Ooh, little screen bird. Screen bird. Screen bird comes out here and EQ's flying. So EQ's flying here. I mean, we could soak pretty well, correct? Yeah, that's a solid soak. And I'm going to set up an Aurora Veil. I'm going to Veil up here and uh, start ripping after it. Corvo does seem like a little bit of a problem. I'm going to Aurora Veil here. I feel like it's just a perfect time to set it up. And I'm just going to chill water this hip out on down. I don't, I don't really want it here. He might even swap it, but I, I kind of want to get rid of it just so we can keep weather control for the rest of the battle. Oh, but if I can get off this war battle, it's going to be big. He does end up withdrawing the hip out on. That's fine. Going through a physical attacker at least? Lamora, no. So he's going to be able to drop toxic spikes here. Actually, I think it's only when it's hit with a, a physical attack move, right? Getting nice, super effective damage. Attack drop. Please don't drop the spikes. It's air balloon does pop. And is spikes coming out here? No spikes? No spikes. Huge. So Reflect Night Stream comes out from uh, Corvo Knight. Pretty much kind of wastes his turn considering we're just a war belt and match this energy. I'm here to match it. I'm here to match it. <laughs> and now we can get, get after the battle that way. So I'm just going to pop Blizzards to free right now. Actually, he might swap. I could end up swapping. But you know what? Screw it. I'm going for the Blizzard, man. I'm going for the Blizzard. I'm double down to Glamora. He withdraws the Corp Knight. Okay, so Hippaladon's coming back out here. If I can land this Blizzard, this could be big time. Can we land this Blizzard? Come on, my man. I know you're in the sand stream, but come on. Come on, Bomber Snow. Come on, Bommy. Obama, come on. Come on, man. Land this Blizzard. Get it cooking. Get it cooking for us. Mortal Spin coming out here. He's going to poison us. God dang Mortal Spin. <laughs> that dang move. Come on, Blizzard. Come on, Blizzard. I need you. I need you here, buddy old pal. Oh, it land. My man, Blizzard. Big time, Blizzard. Give me some freezes. Give me some little bit of extra. Buffett's flying through here. We know Forge is fastest on the field. We're, we are a little poisoned here, which I do not like. But Chilling Water should be able to take out that Hip on, correct? Makes the most sense. Uh... We're just, we're just gonna keep in here. I'm gonna go for the uh, chilling, chilling water to get rid of that, and we'll go from there. And we shall go from there. I really don't want to go for another blizzard, so I'm just gonna opt to go for a giga drain here. You know, we're gonna say sh we're, gonna, we're gonna actually double down into into hit pout on just in case. Just in case. Uh, oh, that's actually gonna protect. But I was gonna say just in case it survives this chilling water. But that thing actually ended up protecting. So that's going to work wonders for us. Actually, no, it's not. Because now we're going to take some... Actually, we won't take spiky shield damage. But we just get rid of the hip out on. So I like that. Solid turn from us. Solid turn from us. Floor just will drop out this turn. After the buffets come out. And the poison. But I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. So. What's my plan here? I'm thinking of a swap in a bomb of snow, right? If I can get weather control later. Be solid for us. Definitely could be solid for us. The poison damage coming out here. Oh, that's hurting me. Poison and sandstorm damage. And I still have my 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 uh power herb, which is good. But Deli Bird seems to be the player. Deli Bird definitely seems to be the player. We're gonna bring out the Deli Deli Bird. And the screens are still here. Hate the screens. <laughs> and I'm thinking of just swapping my bomber snow into my uh into my Dragapult and then getting rid of Glamora. Seems like seems like the top tier play. Seems like the play we have to make. So Quirk Drive is going to boost. Boost your speed a little bit. I'm ready to play. I'm ready to play. So from here, like I said, I'm going to swap into my pool. I want weather for later. And then I'm thinking of just straight up freeze trying to get rid of the Glamora. Should be able to pick up the KO, no problem. I wonder what Corvo is doing, though. It set up screens already. Might have Tailwind. It might have Iron Defense Body Press. It has so many different move options. That I don't really know what it's going to go into. But we swap into the pool here. This should say bye-bye to Glamora. It does not. But we get a freeze. It's going to thaw out right away. And I already know it. It's going to hurt the soul. It did it. Awesome. Yo, Deli Deli Bird. Big time freeze coming from him. Brave Bird cooking. I don't really like that. But you're going to take a little bit of recoil damage. Good thing of Warbell's here. Warbell's ripping. Warbell is ripping. 
So from here, this is going to be yet another easy swap. Let's take weather control back. And let's get a guaranteed blizzard going on the field. Seems like the this, this simple play, right? Dude, reflects and light screens and aurora veils all in the same battle. It's taking us a while to pick up KOs. Free Shy should have been able to KO, but light screens out and about. Helping him half the damage. He's getting ripping with it. So Bomber Suits can come in here. We're swapping weather right back. And again, Blizzard is landing. No problem. Give me a freeze on the Corvo. Give me, give me a freeze. Give me a freeze on the Corvo. I think we already used our freeze luck, so it's tough news. Ironhead's gonna fly here. We soaked that dude. Aurora <laughs> Veil, killing it. Aurora Veil's killing it. So what I'm thinking here is now just like freely just Blizzard, 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 <laughs> right? Because Valiant's coming out here. It just seems like Blizzard, 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 Blizzard. We could also Terrasalize here. I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of just. Terrasalize and get off as much damage with Blizzard. It just seems like the simple easy play. So Deli Bird's obviously gonna be fast on the field. We're Terrasalizing. The screens are still out and about. Aurora Bell's still out and about. It's Blizzard time. It is Blizzard time. We're Terrasalizing our Deli Bird to double the damage onto the uh, Blizzard. And I'm just throwing Blizzards for pretty much the rest of the match until one of these Pokemon die out. But they also have Terra. I totally forgot that. We both Terra at the exact same time. He's going to Terrasalize into Thunder. Ooh. Actually, this is a good Terra for us because he's probably going for a Thunder move into my Water-type Deli Bird, who is now just straight Ice. That works wonders. Blizzard. We're looking for Freezes, too. That's what's good about the Blizzard combo. Wow, that did some nice damage to Corvo. <coughs> Here comes a Thunderbolt. We can now soak this, right? Correct? Yeah, Aurora Bell. I love you. I love you, Aurora Bell. And Brave Bird, Actually, that's going to KO us. We're dead to that. Okay. That's fine. No double Blizzard. No double Blizzard. But Corviknight takes some real cool damage, and it dies out. And it's wraps. The game is wraps. No problem. I bring out my faster Dragapult. I can freely go into a Phantom Force with the Power Herb. Or I can Dragon Hearts. It don't matter. Game set match. I'd rather Phantom Force. Phantom Force does a bit more damage, doesn't it? And if this thing's protecting, we still hit it. So that's cool. So I'm gonna rip into a Blizzard, rip into a Phantom Force, and our opponent cancels the battle. One and zero to get this brand new season started. Let's hop to our second. Look to go back to back. Second match coming at you guys, and I legit just showcased this team. So Nick, if you watch my videos and you got this rental code from me, huge shout out to you, my man. But we're versing up against this Spiritoon team with Iron Hand, Scissor, I should say Choice Band Scissor. Then he also has the Wide Guard Pelipper, Trick Room Setter with Frigraph, and Pinch Urchin. How am I playing this one? How am I going to get after it? I know they want to set up Trick Room. That is definitely the play. But I'm going to go into Dragapult, and I think Forges could be a solid lead for us, right? I really do like Florges and the Poltski. It seems solid for us. It seems like we can get some work done. We can also Symbiosis and pass. Pass our, what's it called? Pass our Life Orb. I like that. I like that. We can't taunt the Frigraph if they do lead it, considering it has uh, Mental Herb. I know this team. That's that's what's so good. But I I, I think we should be fine here. I think I'm also going to bring my Corviknight. I feel like Corviknight can be solid. And then last but not least, uh, I could actually bring Rotom. I really like Rotom. I definitely want Rotom. Definitely want Rotom. And then last but not least, I'm leaning a bit more towards Corviknight. I like Corviknight. Mm, but do I like it that much? Yeah, I like Corviknight. <laughs> I did Cor Corviknight. I'm with it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to go back to back here. That first match went pretty solid for us. Honestly, the Florges and uh, Dragon Pool combo did not work out as I wanted it to. But we swapped out. We got out the Bombasso. Took Weather Control. And then a Bombasso Deli Bird freezes blizzards all the way and the war bell definitely came up clutch so good thing we did swap that first turn instead of just going for the normal combo but i'm gonna try to get off the combo in this battle again if i can't i'm just gonna swap and make a different play but we'll see who they want to go into and they do end up going into spirit tomb so spirit tomb is going to be the trick room center and i know for a fact we're dumping on the sigma phantom force because i know it doesn't have a sash actually oh it's not super effective because you are part you are part something else aren't you what's your other typing Kind sir, you are part dark. How dare you? How dare you do me dirty like that? But we're still gonna go for it. We're still gonna go for that Phantom Force. He's probably going to get off that uh, Trick Room. Kind of sucks, but it'd be like that. Fake out doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Phantom Force coming over the top. I totally forgot this thing was part dark too, even though I just used it. Phantom Force coming in here, chipping up some damage, and he's gonna be able to easily set up the Trick Room. But I have Orb now. I do have this lovely little Orb. 
Trick room is here. So I know this thing can snarl. I know it has pain split. I know it has will o wisp. Uh, do I just protect this turn? Start trying to waste out trick room turns. And then just start going after Iron Hands. Because again, I think will o wisp is coming into my, my pult slot, right? And I can always swap him if need be. So we're going for the Moon Blast. He's going to end up terrestrializing the Iron Hands into, I think it's straight fighting. This could be good for us. I think it's straight fighting. It is. It's straight fighting. So he, he definitely wants to go for that Drain Punch, maybe? What's the play here? What's the Terrasalize for? The Drain Punch? Correct. We're just Terrasalizing the Terrasalize here. Snarl coming out. Oh, you went for it. You chose to Snarl instead. That kind of sucks. I think you're going to double down on my floor just slot. They give us some special attack drop. Ice Punch is coming here. Okay, we dodge that. It's a big time block for us. Big time block. We are now minus one. But Moonblast still should be able to do some nice damage. Oh, yes. We like that. We like that a lot. We get a crit. That's a big, big time crit. It's a big, big time crit. And then from here, I'm thinking of just... Do I terror you? Do I terror you or do I swap you? Hmm. I do have mirror armor on this thing, but I don't want the burn to come in hot here, right? I'm gonna go to Corvo. I'm gonna say he goes for another. I'm gonna say he goes for another snarl. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna moon blast this thing. So Pult has the life orb. We did set up the combo, and now I'm saving it for later because I'm trying to waste out these trick turns to win this game. I'm gonna hard swap into Corvo. He does end up going for the snarl, which is big for us. Floor just does dodge it too. And on top of that, I have the mirror armor popping. So he goes for that, and Thunder Punch can come in here, and Forges dies out to that. Ooh! That sucks. I need a Forges to eat that. Or I was kind of hoping he went after Corviknight. But from here, uh... Let's play here. I think the play here is to bring back out Pult, and we just protect Pult again. We have to protect Pult. And Brave Bird. We do still have Terra, which is great. We could Terra in the Dragon, but we're going for the Brave Bird, and we're just going to go for the Protect. I cannot afford to lose my pole right now. <clears throat> so right now I'm just I'm just wasting turns. I'm just wasting as many turns as I can. We're hoping he goes for another ice punch and he doesn't read this protect. But I feel like he's gonna read the protect, but again, I have to hope that he doesn't. <laughs> so we'll see. If they if he ends up uh, hitting me here, we should be fine. But he withdraws Iron Hands. Okay, so the Iron Hands gets to withdraw here. And he's going to go into from here. Pinchurchin. Okay, that's a little scary because Pinchurchin does some work. Pinchurchin can get some work done. P Churchin out and about. Protect coming out from the Pult. Hopefully a will o -Wisp can come out here into the Pult slot and we just block it. There's will o -Wisp. Not into my Corvo. Wow, we had a free turn with my, with my boy Poltsky. And we blew it. And we blew it. So he's going to look for a burn into my... In my Polsky next turn. Brave Bird's not gonna do really any damage. And that sucks. That sucks. Okay, Pinch Urchin. Oh, it has a jack pack. Or jack button. So he might just be looking to fake me out here. He's gonna go back into Iron Hands, correct? A little bit of Iron Hands, or are you gonna show your final Pokemon? So he goes back into Iron Hands for the fake out. Ah, hurts the soul. And Cork Drive is out and about. It's going to boost his attack. Scary, scary, scary. How many turns left in Trick Room? We need to waste out these turns. Let's see. One. I don't have Protect on you, so I'm just going to go for the, for here, and I'm just going to go for D-Darts. Actually, I could Phantom Force here. But now I'm going to D-Darts, because I have to get rid of Spirit Tomb. Let's see what our opponent ends up doing. He's going to Snarl me. That's fine. The Snarl comes out here. Are you just taking out my... uh? Are you taking out my Dragapult? Yeah. Dragapult drops out here. The Dragapult gone. That's fine. We're going to be able to drop a Bee Bird, but all we have left is my boy. All we have left is my Rotom to win this match. Trick Room's gone, and I, I think there's still a strong chance that we can win this match. I think there's definitely still a strong chance we can win this match. So what I want to do here is, first off, Get rid of this, uh... First off, get rid of the Spear Tomb. 
Second off, Pinchurch is gonna be here. We gotta we gotta get rid of that thing too. But I do have overheat with the with the white herb, so I get a free overheat usage without dropping my special attack. So that could be good for us. That could definitely be good for us. So I think Pinchurch does come back out here, which it does. And a Thunderbolt will KO the Spirit Team. So I'm down to just go Thunderbolt and maybe Ironhead and look for a flinch. Probably my play. And you know what? I think Rotom should be faster, correct? Are you faster, Rotom? Yeah, you're faster than, than Corviknight. You are definitely faster than Corviknight. Yeah. So actually what I want to do instead of going into that Pinchurchin slot, I would rather just double down in the Spirit Team here. Because I know Spirit Team doesn't have Protect, and it will slide over, and Pinchurch protects anyway. Because just in case the Thunderbolt does not KO by, like, a hair, we can have Iron Head coming in hot here. And there it is. That's exactly... That's a good, th good thing for us. Good thing we double down. <laughs> good thing we double down. So we get rid of you. Smart call for us. You want to set up another Tricker, but we're not allowing it. We are just not allowing it. So he's going to go into his final Pokemon. And... Hmm, do we saw Oh, it's gonna be Paloops. And Paloops is definitely sashed. Paloops is definitely sashed. And I'm just gonna go Brave Bird. I'm gonna double down to Paloops here. I think it's sashed, right? Oh, that's tough because he just weathered up and now my overheat does nothing. We're double down to Paloops. I don't know if Paloops has protect. It does not. But I think it's sashed, correct? It is Sash. So good thing I do know this team. Pinchurch is looking a little scary here. We know Corvus is going to go before Pinchurch. And Hydro Pump's going to KO me, isn't it? Yeah, match number two. Not going in our favor. Even though I knew the team did not work out in our favor here. Brave Bird's going to come out here, pick up the KO. And Thunders are just going to be fine from Pinchurch. So you know what I should have probably done? Was protect the, protect the Rotom first. Chip up the damage. Then take him out, right? Knowing it was Sash, yeah. Because then I could have brought it to a 1v1, and we would have had a shot at winning this battle. I definitely should have protected that turn. But hey, 1-1 one one for this video. Let's hop into a third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. Final battle coming at you guys. And look at the team we're going up against. Really cool off-meta team with, I think that's Fire Tauros, Toxicroak, Gengar, Noivern, Iron Thorns, which is the Futuristic T-Tar, and last but not least, they do have the Murkrow. Little Murkrow, the Series 1 MVP. Everybody was using them in Series 1. No one's really using them now, but I'm, I'm ready to get after this and grab ourselves a winning record. But who should I lead, and how should I play it? Uh, I do believe they're going to lead a Pokemon more so like Murkrow or Noivern for Tailwind support. So I'm thinking of doing the combo with you, right? Because I can overheat, pop the White Herb, and then just uh, send the Life Orb over. That can work really, really well. Or I can just... Go these two set up Tailwind and match them. That works well. I think that works wonders. I'm all about that. I am all about that. Hmm. But if they lead a T-Tar, then that's a little bit of a problem. But I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We're going to go Dragon Pole in the back end. And then last but not least, do I go in with the Florges or Iron Bundle? Let's go Iron Bundle. We're looking for a win here. We got to bring the MVP. We got to bring the Bundy. The Deli Deli Bird. Delhi Meat Bird. They should open up a Delhi shop called Delhi Birds. Just Delhi Birds. <laughs> That'd be sick. I think so many people would go to that. Especially like Pokemon fans. Be like, dude, where do you get your meat? Just Delhi Birds? <laughs> like, obviously Delhi Birds. So I would go there. Even if their even if their lunch meat wasn't as good as other places, I would go to there just because it's called Delhi Birds. Be sick. But we're gonna get Frisk here. Kinda sucks. He knows what items we have, but I don't mind. You can know. You can know that. And from here. Good drop a lovely little Thunderbolt. I think we're gonna see like a Tailwind, Tailwind kind of thing. I'm gonna go Tailwind. He's probably gonna go Tailwind, and we're gonna we're gonna rip after it. Tailwind v Tailwind. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. But Corviknight's so sick. Just a solid steel burn. Amazing design. But we'll see Terra turn one into what? What you just Terrasize into? Normal. Oh, this is an E Speed boy. He an E Speed boy. He's gonna e speed me. How dare you? Acid spray coming out. Oh, that's gonna. That might KO me here. My special defense dropping. Are you e speeding? What are you doing? I have white herb too. So good thing white herb coming in hot here. Help me out a little bit. And boom burst. So oh, it's a boom burst bird. Now, why didn't I know it was boom burst? I should have known it was boom burst. You might be able to eat that up, Rotom. You cannot, Rotom. That sucks. That sucks. 
That sucks, but that's a good combo right there. That thing is orbed. I'm not too worried about it because I'm just going to tail one. I'm going to say, hey, yo, I'm faster than you now. And I'm going to get after you. I'm not playing games anymore. Uh, Paul can come out here. Hmm. Or do I go Deli Deli? Or do I go Deli Deli here? We definitely want to double down to Noivern. Like, Noivern's got to go. We're going to go into Deli. We are going into Deli. Just need to do a quick stat check. The deli bird comes out here. Let's get cooking. I do my quick drive. I'm faster than him anyway. I got tail went out and about, and we're doubling right down into that boom burst bird. Not dealing with it. Not dealing with it. We go for the freeze dry. Make sure it hits, and we will also go into. We'll go into brave bird. We gotta do as much damage as we possibly can. Um, wait. As long as that thing's not protecting, I feel like we can win this match, no problem. I know we're down to Pokemon, but we have Tailwind. We have very strong Pokemon in the back end. I don't think Gengar has a move to KO any of my Pokemon. Unless it's Rocking Energy Ball, which I know it learns. That could be scary, but again. We'll see what he wants to do. Because that Boom Burst combo, terrifying. Does so much damage. Base like 130, plus with Terra, plus with Life Orb. It's just too much damage for us to handle. It's just legit too much damage for us to handle. So we end up freeze dry. No protect comes out here. How much damage are we doing? Enough for Brave Bird to finish this off. And Acid Spray's coming out here. So you're lowering my special defense. That's fine. We're taking out your Noivern. You out... Corvo, get it together. Get it together. Get it together, Corvo. That's all I have to say. Get it together. I need you to outspeed there. You had Tailwind too. And this little Noivern bird outspeeding you. Okay, so now we're sitting in a harder position. I feel like we can still win this match again. Uh, we have our boy Poltsky Poltsky with power herb ready to rip. I do believe Gengar is going to be Sash. It's just that type of Pokemon to always be Sash. But if it's not, that's going to be a plus for us. <coughs> but it's definitely Sash. We already know it's Sash. We already know it's Sash. So what I'm thinking of doing right now is maybe just protecting the Gengar. Tor oh, Taurus is a problem. Taurus is a problem. You know, I'm just going to do this, and I'm just going to Brave Bird to Taurus. So I can Dragon Dart to KO the Gengar next turn. Gengar's, I mean, Dragon Pulse is where it's at. He's a beast. He's a beast. He's playing no games. He's playing no games. Taurus is going to be a problem, because it can hit me hard. But I feel like we can be fine. I can't Thrasalize into Steel just yet. Just yet, because I still have the Steel Terror. He's going to end up withdrawing the Gengar. Who are you, who are you going into, kind sir? He's gonna save the Gengar. Titar coming in here. The Titar. My power herb is gonna proc here, so we're gonna be able to hit this thing instantly. Which is really good for us. And we chunk up some nice damage. Can you outspeed this, Corvo? You do! Lovely! Thank you, Corvo. You're now outspeeding. And you pick up a KO. Oh, that's beautiful, Corvo. Big time plays, Corvo. So now from here, I'm thinking of Terrasalize and my, my uh, Dragon Bolt, right? We didn't Terror yet. We know they Terrored. We did not Terror. I'm cool with that. And our citrus berry has been eaten. Like I said, dude, pull in the back end. Real deal. Really can clutch up battles for you guys. Gengar's gonna come out here. And I think we just Dragon Arts turn one. We tear it into steel. We just Dragon Arts. But also just Iron Head that thing down. We know we're gonna outspeed it. This Brave Bird's not gonna do that much. Yeah, I'm gonna Iron Head it. We are going to Iron Head. They do not have Terra. We do have Terra. I like this Terra change considering that thing has rock moves. And then also it kind of saves us from the, the ghost damage. So that's cool. I'm all about it. So we end up Terrasalizing. Double Steel on the field. D-Darts flying. Big time damage with D-Darts. Big time damage with D-Darts. Oh yeah, D-Darts. Icy Wind's flying. So they're going to slow us down a little bit. Okay. I still think pull out speeds. The, oh, we get the mirror armor. That's actually really good. And Iron Head's fine. I'm a clear body. Oh, this game's wraps. This game's wraps. Icy Wind was the biggest mistake. I'm clear body. Does not lower my speed. And I'm mirror armor, so I lower your speed. Game, set, match. Dragapult insanely clutches up this last battle. Insanely does. And our opponent cancels it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A 2-1 amazing winning record for you guys.
Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. 2 1, grab ourselves a nice winning record to get the season started. Hopefully, we'll be in Master Tier soon, but this team was absolutely amazing. Loved using it, loved the off meta aspect of it with the uh, Dragapult and Forges combo. And then you can also combo it with the Rotom if need be. You have the Iron Bundle and the Bomb Stone for weather control, and the Corviknight's there for some heavy physical damage and some great support with taunts and tailwinds. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.